how much of being a successful shot is in the mind. Look into my eyes. Quite a bit, actually. Focus. Now, some of you may be a tad sceptical about brain training, but as we're about to hear, it's not just about see the clay, feel the clay, be the clay. Visualise, visualise, visualise. You will be a champion. No, you won't. Work hard. Dropping one, this dropping is two. not, of course, how Henry Hopkins normally video. speaks to a client, but it's what many people might expect. So today we're lifting the lid and delving into how brain training and understanding your body, mind and spirit can make you a better, more consistent shot. Proper terms, I'm a psychophysiologist. <laughs> Bit of a mouthful. So what I'm doing, I'm looking at the interaction between your body, the physiology, and what you're doing with your mind. We can measure what your level of focus is, what your level of stress, nerves, too much relaxation. These are all levels that fluctuate while you're shooting. So, um, yeah, I'm a sports neurologist teaching you how to control your mental states. Is he an athlete's dirty secret? Certainly not in America, and things are changing in the UK too. I've had situations that shooting, actually here at Sporting Targets, I've been with a student and we're walking, walking along and suddenly he disappears in the other direction. And I sort of know something's going on, so I just carry on walking. He comes up to me a few minutes later and says, I saw my friends turn up and I didn't want them to see me walking with you. <laughs> and I get quite used to that now, so I have to go to secret places where people aren't going to be seen with me. And I think it's a, it's a typical psychology between England and America. In America, you get patted on the back for doing well. In England, we often kick people down for doing well. And there is that slight difference of what you've done to become successful. Has it just happened or have you worked for it? I'll work with either one. Someone who has benefited from Henry's input is Laporte-sponsored top shot coach and FITASC world champion Ed Solomons. They often work alongside each other using their different skills to fill in the gaps in a competitive shots game. Since I started working with Henry I suppose I was I reckon 19 or 20 um, I was just coming out of the juniors and the reason that I decided to work with Henry is because I thought I was at a level where I was good enough to be okay, but I thought coming out of the juniors and stepping into the seniors, I knew I was going to come up a bit short. Um, subsequently, I've managed to win the World Fit Ass, which again, Henry was a, was a massive help for that. And certainly on the last day, I've never up until that point felt what I would say pressure. Um, but I, I certainly did on the, the last evening and the last day. That was, that was really where I think it, it paid for itself the most. With competitions being so closely fought these days, the mental game is key. Whether it's mental fitness, physical fitness, diet, hydration, all that kind of stuff, it all plays a part and if you're looking to get the last one target over a 200 bird event, which can often be the, the difference between winning and losing, um, I think it's a, it's a relevant thing to look for. What's great is that something as vital as focus can be measured. There's no bluffing, you get distracted and the iPad of truth will tell you. And I want to try and put intensity out on it. There you go. Get it louder. What's nine times seven? Yeah, do you see it dip down? Do you see it stop? Because I took your focus away. Most of the work is done on the stand, and here is a quick peek <laughs> into the process. When you first arrive, look out reference points. Okay. So we've got Whacking Great Big Tower, Oak Tree, Birch Tree. You've got your two traps over there, green grass. You've got this clay track coming through on here. Yeah. Okay, so at the moment, we don't know where the targets are going to be. What you're doing here is you're trying to get your, your background, your landscape, into which you can put the targets. Okay. Okay, so tell me about that target. Um, I didn't really pick it up until it sort of halfway between the, the end of the trees and the tower. Okay. And yeah. how high up the tower did it go? Um, it was sort of probably halfway. The tier one, two, three or four? Um, so I'll look at another one. Okay, let's see again. Yeah. Right. Call it again. Oh. Okay, really? high, yeah. So yeah, higher than you think. Yeah, exactly. And that's why having these references, because on the way that, when you come to do everything that Ed's taught you on a technical point of view, you would misread that by a massive gap. Okay, so you would have probably set up wrong and from a, oh, from a brain point of view, your brain was expecting it to go somewhere where it's not going to go. This is why getting your whole background and reference is so important so that you understand where it's going. On another stand, Ed picks up a few areas where Dave's technique needs some fine tuning. Just got David to shoot a very fast quarter and away bird from his left hand side. Um, there were a couple of very basic mistakes there that he made. Uh, which has basically ruined the shot from the, from the off, so we're going to run over the points there. On a shallow angle target such as this, there's not much lateral movement, and if your whole point comes too far back to the trap house, which David did, 
the target beats you, you end up having to throw the gun after it, you end up injecting a load of gun speed into the equation, and you go way past the target and miss it in front. So on this one, Dave, what I want you to do, rather than pulling your hold point back to here, I actually want you to come probably only a quarter of the way back from your kill point. So your kill point's going to go out over the top of the broken pile of clays there. Wind yourself back no further than to the right-hand side of those broken up bits of rubble. Visual hold point's going to come back here, but you need to leave the gun out. Don't be tempted to let the gun drift back with your eyes. And you're going to watch it come out to your barrel. Very short move punch into the bottom end of it. Okay, okay. so minimal gun movement, 90% of the shot's gonna be done with your eyes rather than the gun, okay. okay? Mental strength is just part of the complement of skills a top athlete needs to win. But when so much emphasis is placed on nutrition and fitness, surely it's a no-brainer to think that getting your mind in the right place is important before you pull the trigger. If you want to have a chat with Henry, you can contact him via thebraintrainingcompany.com. And if you want some coaching, contact Ed via edsolomons.com. We will have more from Henry over the coming months.